Hi, I'm Kenzie. Welcome back to my podcast. If you are just joining, welcome. Today we will be talking about my 23rd Little Bear VHS, Stories to Grow On. This VHS includes Little Bear's Tooth, In a Little While, Bigger Little Bear, and Lucky Little Bear. First, let's talk about Little Bear's Tooth. This episode starts out with Little Bear waking up one morning with a loose tooth. He looked in the mirror and showed his parents afterwards. The Tooth Fairy would be coming soon. In the meantime, Little Bear put cinnamon on his, the toast. He whistled while doing that. He's been practicing after all. His tooth even moved when he whistled. The scene then transitions to Emily, Duck, and Cat lying on the ground while trying to catch butterflies. One landed on Cat's nose. Then Little Bear entered the scene telling his friends he has a loose tooth. Duck even got a chance to wiggle it. Little Bear wished it would fall out. Duck had an idea to make it come out. He could hang upside down. If it makes things fall out of pockets, it could sure make the tooth fall out. So the scene transitions to Little Bear and his friends hanging upside down. They even whistled together, except Duck, who couldn't make a sound. Then Owl entered the scene wondering why his friends were hanging upside down. It sure was making Little Bear's head feel funny. In fact, everyone got dizzy. Then Hen entered the scene wondering what everyone was doing. She had an idea for the tooth problem. The scene transitions to Hen wrapping a cloth around Little Bear's head so he wouldn't lose his tooth. Little Bear did not like that idea. That's when Owl decided to try his famous tooth-pulling machine. The scene transitions to Owl explaining the plan. Then the scene transitions again to everyone testing it out. It didn't go as planned, though. Then the scene transitions to Little Bear going home for lunch. Corn was served to him. He bit into it, and the tooth came out. It sure was a beauty. The thing was, he couldn't whistle anymore. Mother Bear assured him a new one will grow in its place soon. The scene then transitions to Little Bear in bed and checking to see if his tooth was still under his pillow. It was. Then after saying goodnight, Little Bear fell fast asleep. The scene then transitions to the next day. Little Bear checked under his pillow and discovered a whistle. He whistled into it. It turned out the Tooth Fairy knew exactly what he wanted. Little Bear whistled a tune. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was a good one. It's a simple get the tooth out fast story. At the end of the day, though, all you need is to be patient and let the tooth fall out when it's ready. All in all, it's a good episode. Speaking of patience, now let's talk about In a Little While. This episode starts out with Little Bear asking Father Bear if he was ready to go fishing with him. Father Bear was doing a crossword puzzle. He was stuck on the clue, itchy. Little Bear tried to help him figure out what the word was, but it doesn't fit. Father Bear promised they would go fishing together as soon as he was done with his crossword puzzle. It would take a little while. Little Bear had to be patient, so he went to see Mother Bear. She was making bread. She covered the bowl with a towel because the dough needed to rise. It would take a little while for the bread dough to rise. Little Bear had to be patient again. Then Father Bear came with fishing gear. He had lost all his patience with that crossword puzzle. So, so just as Little Bear and Father Bear went outside, it started to rain. They had to go back inside and wait until the storm cleared up. It would take a little while. Everything took a little while, which was too long for Little Bear. The scene transitions to Little Bear and Father Bear playing checkers. Little Bear needed more time to plan his next move. It would take a little while. Then Mother Bear entered the scene with hot chocolate for them. Father Bear had to wait for a little while so the hot chocolate cools. After a few seconds, he sipped it. It was still hot. Father Bear was so impatient. So was Little Bear. They had ants in their pants. They were itching with impatience. Then, Eureka! Little Bear told Father Bear that impatient was the answer to the puzzle. When they were impatient to go fishing, they were itching to go fishing. It fit. Father Bear thanked Little Bear for making him itchy and impatient. Then the scene transitions to Little Bear in bed. He wasn't sleepy yet, but he will be in a little while. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode would teach kids that anyone can get impatient. Waiting can be very difficult even when you want to do something fun. At the end of the day, though, it's worth the wait. All in all, it's a great episode. Although I can see where this episode can make viewers get impatient. I mean, the ticking clock makes things go slowly. Now let's talk about Bigger Little Bear. This episode starts out with Little Bear le leaning against the wall. He was measuring himself to see how tall he was. Mother Bear made the mark with a pencil. Little Bear looked at it. He was bigger. Now he was Bigger Little Bear. He looked around to see what he could do. Then he realized he could help set the table. He tried to reach for the plates, but he couldn't. He grabbed a chair to help him reach, but he still couldn't. So he climbed on the kitchen counter to reach it. Mother Bear noticed it and stopped him. Little Bear really wanted to help Mother Bear set the table. 
She told him to wait until he's a little bit bigger. Little Bear said that he was bigger. Mother Bear thought not that much bigger. Little Bear was mad. He told himself over and over again he was bigger, while placing the marks on the wall and getting bigger in the process. He really was bigger, Little Bear. He placed the pencil down and went outside to play. He just barely got out of the house. He went to Owl's house to say hello. Owl was reading a book. Little Bear spooked him. He tried to tell him he just got bigger, but Owl told him he was too big. He flew away. The scene then transitions to Duck swimming in the pond. Little Bear entered the scene. He told Duck that he got bigger. Duck was okay with that. She asked him if he wanted to play. So Little Bear jumped in the pond and a huge wave made all the water go away. Duck's pond was nothing but mud now. She walked away. The scene then transitions to Cat chasing a butterfly. He climbed on Little Bear's fur. Little Bear said hello to Cat. Cat screeched and ran away. Little Bear was all alone. It got dark. Little Bear got on the moon and went up into the night sky. The moon gave Little Bear a ride. Little Bear got dizzy and hungry even. The scene transitions to back to reality. It turned out Little Bear was just dreaming. Father Bear entered the scene to see if Little Bear got bigger. Little Bear said he was just a little bigger Little Bear. But he was not too big to jump into Father Bear's arms. Not yet, anyway. Then the Bear family had dinner. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was a classic. I remember seeing this when I was younger. And it also taught me something. Everyone wants to grow and get bigger. But at the end of the day, it's best just to be the way you are. We all get bigger eventually. It just takes time. Besides, everyone grows in all kinds of shapes and sizes. All in all, it's a classic episode. Although I must say, when Little Bear tried to reach for a plate, it might encourage kids to do the same. I hope not. Now let's talk about Lucky Little Bear. This episode starts out with Little Bear giving Mother Bear some more flowers he helped pick. He found cornflowers, Queen Anne's lace, and even a four-leaf clover. Most clovers have three leaves. Mother Bear gave Little Bear the clover to hold onto it for good luck. After all, it's very lucky to find a four-leaf clover. Little Bear went to show his friends his four-leaf clover. The first friend he showed it to was Duck. He, she was trying to get, get across the water, but the stones were too slippery. Duck saw Little Bear's four-leaf clover and was about to eat it, but Little Bear told her it brings good luck. He proved it to her by making it to the last stone. Duck did, too. It showed that they were lucky. Then a log came by for them to walk across. Little Bear and Duck walked across the log, but they lost their balance, fell into the water, and got wet. Then Little Bear realized he lost his four-leaf clover. The fish had it. So Little Bear and Duck had to get it back. The scene transitions to Cat trying to catch a fish. Little Bear and Duck entered the scene to try to catch the fish themselves because the fish had the four-leaf clover. Duck saw it, but she accidentally fell in the water. Cat grabbed the fish, and Little Bear grabbed the four-leaf clover. He was lucky again. Then a bird came and took the four-leaf clover away from Little Bear's hand. Cat accidentally let go of the fish and fell in the water. The scene then transitions to Owl looking for something. Little Bear and Duck enter the scene, panting. Little Bear told Owl that the bird took his lucky four-leaf clover, but Owl didn't believe in luck. As he was looking for his hammer, Little Bear and Duck went under the ladder, which Owl said was bad luck to do that. I know what you're thinking. I said that Owl didn't believe in luck. He doesn't, except for walking under ladders. That is bad luck. Duck knew exactly how to get their luck back, though. She walked back under the ladder and had good luck again. Little Bear tried it, too, and fell on Owl's hammer. Now Owl could finish putting the horseshoe above his door. Then the bird let go of the four-leaf clover. It floated down until it landed in the big turtle's mouth. It was somebody else's lucky day. The scene then transitions to Little Bear, Duck, Cat, and Owl at Little Bear's house having chocolate cake that Mother Bear was handing out. Now that's lucky. Little Bear mentioned that tomorrow he would look for another four-leaf clover, which will bring him lots of good luck. Mother Bear then asked how it can bring him what he already has. Little Bear had to say that Mother Bear was right. He is a lucky little bear. They hugged each other. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was a classic. It even taught me something. You don't need a four-leaf clover or a horseshoe or a ladybug to bring you luck. You are lucky already to have things you need, like a house and family and friends by your side. Now, when Owl said he didn't believe in luck, but then he said it was bad luck to walk under ladders and the fact that he put a horseshoe above his door, it makes me believe that he does believe in luck. He just doesn't want to show it because he's just so wise. Still, it's okay to believe in luck. Just don't take it too far. All in all, it's a classic episode. So yeah, that's stories to grow on. 
If you would like to play again, just go back to the beginning of this episode. See you next time. Bye!